my GCSE Biology, addressing syllabus statement 2.9, the effect of temperature on an enzyme reaction. To understand this, we need to recall, first of all, a piece of physics, and that is that if we increase the temperature, then we increase the average kinetic energy of the particles. The second principle to remember is if we increase the kinetic energy of the particles then we increase the number of collisions and so therefore we will have more reactions. The particles in question here are the substrate S and the enzyme E. The reaction then is your enzyme plus substrate to form enzyme substrate complex and then on to form the leave the enzyme unaffected with the product formed. So we're looking at the effect of temperature on this reaction. If we perform the reaction at low temperatures, then the particles will have low kinetic energy. There will be few complexes formed and product will only be formed slowly. So at low temperatures, we would expect a low rate of reaction. As we increase the temperature, the effect is that the kinetic energy of the enzyme and the substrate increase so that we have more complexes formed and product is formed more quickly. Repeating this, we get the pattern shown here. However, we find that we reach a temperature at after which the rate of reaction decreases quite dramatically. Drawing the curve, we have this asymmetrical curve for the effect of temperature on the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. So in section A we're increasing the kinetic energy of the reactants which is the enzyme and the substrate and so we have more collisions and more reactions. However, we then find that after a given temperature the rate of reaction declines very quickly and this is because the kinetic energy is actually changing the shape so it changes the shape of the active site of the enzyme and so it doesn't work to produce product. This is called denaturing. Students should avoid stating that the enzyme is killed. This is not the case. It may be acceptable to say that the enzyme is destroyed when denatured. Returning to the graph, so with the increase in the kinetic energy of the reactants, the reaction occurs faster, increasing rate in the first section, and in the second section the rate declines quickly as the enzyme is denatured. The peak of the curve corresponds to a rate of reaction here, and this is at a given temperature 
so that the maximum rate is achieved at a temperature here which is called the optimum temperature.